Hey, hey, everybody. Pepperman here, Rick Rogers. Come with another installment this year. I'm pretty much the pepper, doing the peppers this year is done with. I have a plant growing downstairs, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna, a couple products I did. I got one I'm going to do tonight. Everybody hears the name Ghost Pepper. Ooh. And right away they get scared. Or not reluctant to try and do it. I give it a shot. Tonight, I don't know how many have tried this. Yancey's Fancy. Pasteurized processed ghost pepper natural aged cheddar cheese. I've had this a few times already. In fact, I had, went down Shady Maples, Lancaster from there. It's about 40 minute drive. We were going to go see a Christmas uh, thing on Saturday and we were out that way. About a half hour drive, of, or 27, maybe a half hour drive. So why don't we go to Shady Maples? I can pick up some cheese. I thought, to my wife Julie, I'm going to do a, a review, review of this. Which, really like it. I think it's like my third or fourth time in the last year and a half that I've actually tried this. But, um... Thing with this cheese too is the black that's around it is wax I think of the old style that's, that's the way the style that they do uh, cheese with put in uh put wax around it once they they make it but um Redner's has this brand of cheese but they do not have the ghost pepper cheese. It's like, are people that fearful of it? I love this stuff. Yeah, piece of wax. In fact, uh, yeah, there's yeah, wax on both sides. I cut a small piece. See what it looks like. See the red. The red ghost pe peppers in it. The thing I'm finding out about the ghost pepper is I really like like the burn, I like the taste of it. I, should, I didn't grow any this year. Maybe I should have. But um, I got other ones I'm growing on. Um, next year I'm working on, I got a lot of seeds for growing dragon's breath. But those I don't want really, usually in the past I'll give out peppers that I'm growing. Those I'm actually going to sell. I don't know if I'm going to come up with a waiver or not for them because they tell you a pepper can kill you. But, um, anyway... Ghost pepper cheese, Yancey's Fancy. Had a few ghost pepper cheeses. This is my favorite. Love it. I think the pasteurized process, I think of Kraft Velveeta cheese, the same type of texture when you cut it. I used to eat a lot of that when I was younger. This has the same type texture. Nice burn. It's about a two, 
Maybe maybe a three on my heat. Hmm. Let's see what else I can review this year. Of course, I made some jerky with uh, Dragon's Breath powder, which I ate peppers. I dried out, ground them up in the pepper. Got about three, about three teaspoons. It looks like because I used one when I made the jerky the other day. With that, that's got some nice. It's got some nice burn to it. I bought three packs of these. I didn't go for one. I thought, you know, we're going to get a couple of these. I really like this. Uh, Very good. Like I said, some of here's the word ghost pepper. It's pe some people, maybe most people get frightened, but if you know what you're dealing with, you can stand up, punch that ghost right in the face. This would probably taste great on a hamburger and a cheesesteak. No doubt in my mind. Manufactured by Yancey's Fancy Incorporated. Corfu, New York. They have a website, www.yanceysfancy.com, where they have different kinds. Like I said, this one I like the best because I'm into the heat bit. But like I said, all our cheeses are encased in like wax around them. So. Like I said, they got other varieties. New York artisan cheese. Thing is, you're going to try and like, maybe try any other ones. I would recommend it. Very good cheese. So, I'm going to cut it, cut it off there. Very flavorful. I love this stuff. So, till we see you again, Pepper Man. Peace.